Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be looking over my newest Ko-Fi barn, Carolina Cascades, and I'm going to be walking you around the property for a little property tour. This barn isn't completely finished, so there's a few edits that I will be making before I upload it, but I wanted to show you guys the barn so that way when it is uploaded, you guys can get a little sneak peek before you purchase the barn if you would like to purchase the barn. I have other barns on my Ko-Fi, both for free and for purchase, so if this one doesn't really spark an interest, then you you can always go and check out my Ko-Fi for more barns. All in all, this property is a pretty big property within itself, but there's always room for more places to expand. So you can see like right here you could expand, right over here you could expand, right here you could expand. Like there's so many places where you can kind of make your own place and ignore the wool right here. That will be changed into path very, very soon. I just haven't done it quite yet. That just imagine that's like a normal pathway, okay? <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna be making some adjustments. Let's get started with the tour and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so here we are at the front of the property. There's pastures on both left and right, and there's a pathway down the left side and also the right side. So you can kind of choose which path you wanna take, but because I kind of want to show this side of the property first, we're going to take this way. Um, there are currently no horses in this pasture, but there is a very intimidating looking sheep that we're going to avoid because those kind of scare me. You can already see all of the names on the map. There's so many of them. Okay, I'm excited to show you guys the animals. So in the sheep pen, we have a trough with water and also some hay for them to munch on. I think this is an oat bale. Yeah. We're gonna do a little like sheep haul, okay? I'm gonna show you guys all my sheep. This is Azula. This over here is Rosemary. This is Zuko, so one of my favorites. He has better eyeliner than me. Like, look at look at that perfect eyeliner. Look at you go, Zuko. This is Nub. Nub is currently pregnant uh, with Spooderman's baby. This is Spooderman. The reason I named him Spooderman is because from above and on the side, he looks like Spider-Man. Like, he looks like the eyes, you know? You know how Spider-Man's mask has white eyes? Don't the dots- stop turning! Let me look at your back. Don't the dots on his back look like Spider-Man's eyes from, like, the front? I- maybe I'm just a Lulu, I don't know. This is Ramsey. His name will make sense when you guys see later in the video. This is Maleficentio because I was gonna name it Maleficent because, you know, like, the horns that Maleficent has. But it's a guy, so I just added, like, the EO at the end, you know, to, like, make it fancy. <gasps> oh my god you literally just had your baby on video oh my god spooder man you're a father where's spooder man go 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 be with your kid look that's your child now okay you're it's too late to run away baby that is so cute okay so we now have a baby on the property that's cute I'm not sure if I'm going to be giving this property with the animals or without, but you guys can let me know what you guys want on the property. Ignore that anvil that was never there. So now we're going to go and check out the cows. You can probably hear them mooing already. They're all in that corner. I don't know why they're all in that corner. They like just chilling there, but this is the cow pen. The cow pen is a little bit bigger because, you know, cows, cows are a little bit bigger than the sheep. Here's their little shelter that I made them and it has the oat bales and then also a water trough. And I try to keep their field clear so that they can walk around. This is Blondie. I named Blondie after the Applebee's dessert because it kind of reminded me of, she reminded me of the dessert from Applebee's. I used to work there, so that was like my favorite dessert from there. This one's gravy because the gray fading into like the brown reminds me of like gravy on mashed potatoes. This is Cleo because Cleo. The condensation, Emma. This is breadcrumbs. I don't really know the inspiration behind his name. He just, I don't know. He looked like breadcrumbs. And this is BB. Love BB. BB's about to have a BB. Breadcrumb is the dad. Obviously, there's no other. <laughs> there's no other bull in this pasture. So breadcrumbs is the only dad. I'll check back to see BB's BB. You know, to make the trip through the property a little bit easier, I'm gonna grab a horse. That way, I can show you guys the property way easier without having to run around everywhere. Hello. Okay, you have the baby. You guys chill. You guys chill over there. You. I'm looking at you. I'm gonna grab English because this is technically an English horse. You know what? In honor of Barbie coming out in theater soon, I'm gonna make it a pink saddle pad. And one thing about this horse is it has a button braid on it. Dragon can also edit the main style. 
so I'm going to have a horse with button braids. I'm thinking about naming this one Blossom because it just like it looks like a blossom, doesn't it? I don't know. Kind of gives Blossom vibes. Oh, let me close the pasture door. Maybe that would be great with like a mama in full running around. <laughs> We have a lunging pen. You can do some lunging, warming up, all of that stuff. Um, I try to make it against the pathway. That way you guys can lead a horse right from the barn or from the pasture. Both sides of the barn have an open entry point, so you can see straight through the barn to the other side. So technically, there are four entryways. So there's one right here, one right here, and then two which are across from each other. I'm gonna go ahead and tie you up really quick over here so I can go and show the barn. I'll be back, I promise, I won't leave you there. So here are the stalls. Um, if you guys can't see, there's like a little heart pattern. If you like turn your head, just like turn your head a little bit, you can see the heart. Um, I'm like physically turning my head as I'm saying that. There's also a sign to show the name, breed, age, and discipline. It's you know up to you if you wanna keep this design. I thought it was cute. Sadly, there's no thatch stall door, so I had to go with oak. Trust me, it pains me too to see like the thatch and then the oak. It physically pains me, but I couldn't really do much about it. All the stalls are seven by seven, so there's no need to have runs out back. And then on the back side of the barn, since behind this wall right here is the tack and the feed, um, it, it can't have like a back part of the stall. So that's why these stalls have an opening on the back and those don't. Just a little explanation so you guys are like, what the heck, man? You wanna say something? These stalls are the exact same as the ones back here, but like I said, the only difference is they have an area right here that you can open and bring the horse out this way. I really like this design because the horse can't get out and it can poke its head through and it's just an easy way to open. It gives like an older stable look to it as well. And then you can also copy and paste the information from over here with the name, breed, age, and discipline onto back here if you have maybe like a person who joined your server or world that doesn't really know much about the horses. So it's kind of like copy and paste it on the back so you still know what horses they are. I gotta, gotta get back in there. Thank you. I'll be back. I promise. You're being so patient. Love you for that. On each side of the barn, we have a wash stall, so it's good for both sides. For example, if you have a horse from over here and you want to put it in this wash stall, and then a horse from this side and want to put it in this wash stall that way two people can operate at the same time and nobody's like fighting for a wash stall if you wanted to put this on a server um and it's also kind of like an open area if you wanted to get this room and put something completely new i also put heating lamps up here so if you want to like heat the horse you know little sauna that's good too i didn't put them over here i just put them in one of the wash stalls over here is where I put all of the cleaning up items. We have a broom, we have a rake, we have a wheelbarrow, and they're on both sides for both sides of the barn. Then over here we have the tack room. I designed this just with like a simple, you know, minimalist design in mind, but you can definitely redecorate it if you'd like. I really like it because it has like the tack boxes, the chest, so you can put like other stuff in there, the cabinets. Um, it also has armor stands, it has little decorations. And then it also has places where you can keep your personal items as well. And then lockers. Keep your personal items separate from everything else if you want. So there's plenty of places to put your stuff um, if you're playing on survival or creative. And then across the way is the feed room. I'm not sure where the doors are open, but you know, that saves me from having to open them. The feed room is a lot less simple than the tack room. I didn't really deck it out too much because I wanted to leave a lot of it up to you guys because when you guys buy the barn, you're gonna wanna redecorate some of the stuff. Let's go and grab the horse. So the next part of the barn is going to be the arenas. There are two arenas. One of them is a very big arena for pretty much anything you want to put in here. So you can put jumps. I put like three or four jumps. I didn't try to fill it up because it's, like I said, a pretty big arena. And there's two entrances. There's one towards the barn and then there's one towards the individual pastures and other arena. So you can kind of use that as like a warm up and then cross over into this arena. And then this arena over here has like a dressage style setup. I'm not sure if I like the darker arena sands, but I don't see them used often. So I wanted to kind of make this like a darker themed barn with like a lighter tone to it. And then over here we have two individual pastures. These can fit max two horses in here. So for example, if you have like two bonded horses that are kind of good by themselves, you can put them in here. Or if you have like a mare and foal that you want to keep separate from the other horses, you can put them in there. And they each have a shelter kind of like the cow pen with troughs and also pasture feeders. So they won't go hungry or thirsty. Over here is like a little walkthrough pathway. 
and I'm planning on putting like a little table set out here and some decorations so it won't be so bare when you guys download it but I don't have a ton planned over there so I'm sure you guys will figure out something if you want to put anything over there. The next part is the trail. I'm planning on doing like a little cross-country course track out here so I'm going to be putting jumps but I think this would be a wonderful place to train your horse so I'm very excited to be able to put jumps out here and it goes all the way around it twists through so there's different connections and like I said this is just like the perfect place to train your horse and you can just go loop after loop or you can extend it um, I will be fixing the low cut branches so just ignore those okay well that was kind of rude that was also rude. So this is the last part of the property. This is the bleachers. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be keeping these because I don't really like the design that much, but honestly, it's just a place for like, if you're playing on a server or with like a friend, you can just like sit and watch and chill, you know? Okay, you wanna sit there too? Let's go. Okay, miss ma'am, that was not, okay. All right, okay. So everyone, that is currently the work in progress of Carolina Cascades. I do plan on making a realistic roleplay in the future with this one to kind of like promote it and show you guys what you can do with a realistic roleplay. But this was just like a work in progress video saying like, hey, it's coming soon to my Ko-Fi. But now that we're kind of done with the tour part, I'm going to be showing you guys me introducing my good friend Ramsey to my Minecraft server and also showing him the sheep. It was an interesting experience. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Really quickly though, I'm gonna go and look and see if the cow gave birth because I wanna see the baby cow. I wanna see BB's BB, you know? <gasps> look at it. Oh my God. Oh, it's a baby boy. It's so cute. Does it not have horns? Oh my gosh. It looks like breadcrumbs, but saturated. He's like the saturated version. No, that's not your mom. This is your mom. Okay, Gravy has adopted this little baby calf. Anyways, now that we're done with that, enjoy the last part of the video, which is like a little treat for you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't punch you. What? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I put you down. Alright, you wanna see my cows? I'm a baby peach? Yeah. Let's see the cows. So this is the cow pen. You want to read the sign? Cow pen. Moo. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was rude. That was rude. Stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay can you stop freaking moving around? This is Blondie. Um, oh my god. Uh, she reminds me of that like meal from Applebee's. <laughs> uh. <laughs> like the dessert from Applebee's. Have you ever had a Blondie? No. It's so good. Do you see their tail moving? Isn't it so cute? <laughs> this is gravy because it reminded me of gravy on mashed potatoes. Um, this is Cleo because you know, like Cleo, or, you know. Cleo. Yeah, and then this is breadcrumbs because it reminded me of breadcrumbs. He's the he's the bowl. Okay. Oh. Calm it down there. He's the alpha male. Yeah. My bad. My bad, gangster. I'll, I'll leave you alone. And the sheep. <gasps> yeah. You have to name one after me. You have to. It's it's a necessity. Of the sheep? The the rams. Okay. Alright, let's go. Come on. I have them already named, but we can make another one. We're gonna jump this because it's make, make or breed. Uh same thing. <laughs> Are these AIs? Be be honest with me. <laughs> oh, this is Spider Man, because if you fly up above, you can't fly. Haha <laughs> nerd. If you fly up above, um it looks like Spider Man's eyes from the top. Okay, well now that just looks inappropriate. <laughs> okay, so this is Rosemary. This is Azula. Nice. You know, Avatar The Last Airbender. This one is... I don't really like his name, so I think I'm just gonna change it to Ramsey. No, I don't like his horns. But he... There, first of all, he looks he look like, like well, <laughs> he's like squaring up with you. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks like a wasp. Why does he have like two extra horns, bro? He's asserting his dominance the wrong way. Look at the way he turns his head. I don't, I don't like, <laughs> yeah, I don't like this one. <laughs> he kind of scares me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's Zuko. Look at his eyeliner, bro. He this has such cool. amazing eyeliner. This one's enough. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I got it. This one it looks like a sheep imposter. <laughs> like, he doesn't look like he belongs here. Bro, these are sheep. Okay, what about this one? Oh, this one's cute. Oh, this one's cute. I want him. He's mine. All right, I'll name well, him. Like, if, he, if he grows more weird horns, I don't want him. But he's cool right now. I think he's a baby. He is. Is he stay a baby forever? No, he grows a little bit, but I doubt he'll grow very big. Oh, he grew, he grew his horns. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Did you see the thing? Oh my goodness. It's literally me. Oh my god. Oh my god, you almost punched him. Please be careful. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at, the, <laughs> look at the cow through the fence. <laughs> Breadcrumb just wants to see what's going totally. Hello there. Don't oh. look at me like that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. My sister's next. Huh. She's next. <laughs> okay, you're gonna kill her. Oh my god. <laughs> no. My sister's next. <laughs> I'm Jeez. gonna make her play The Sims. These are the horses. I don't. There's no name for them just no. yet, so you can help name one if you want. Well, he has a badonka donk. Holy. Oh, it just paid. He is blue. Oh. <laughs> you made him scared. I'm not cleaning, I'm not cleaning that one up. I am. <laughs> He's drinking! Look at him! Give him more! Oh my god, he's drinking again! <laughs> You're so fascinated by it! That's so cool! Is he gonna drink again? Should I give him more? Oh my god, do I give- does this work? Yeah, it does. The good. baby drink! Oh, they're Did all the baby drink for water. Or they're like going crazy. Oh, they're all drinking for We have water. to refill it at some point. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait, can I suggest a skin? Sure. I think you are. <laughs> okay! It. That is not happening. <laughs> <gasps> he's he's Did you, Did you see, see that? <laughs> yeah. I'm so proud of him. What if she's not a good person? She's a sheep. I raised her. What do you mean? You saying I raised her wrong? Uh, what are you saying? I'm not saying anything. But what if my little ram? Uh. <laughs> That's the way of the skillet. <laughs> The skillet just got the roll. Can you, um, can you ba ba leave it? <laughs> what? I can't do that. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna need you to log out for that one. 